Okay, this is my very, very first deep pyramid pour. I learned so much doing this pour. Uh, it's, it's far from perfect, of course. This is my very first one. But one thing, the bottle leaked that I put in and that caused the biggest problems. So I've got to make sure I test for leaking before I insert the bottle, which the lights go into. The animals have to be much closer up to the glass, to the sides of the mold. Also the blue should have been ending about right about here. That would have been enough. This is good. I like the colors. I like all the pieces of trees and bark and stuff I put in there to make it look like uh, plants and trees. Poor elephant fell down. <laughs> he also should have been very close up to the side of the mold. And probably while this was wet, are well, you working upside down? He should have been, there was no way to put him actually until later because you're working upside down. It's hard to explain, but the stones are pretty good. The, the grass, the sphagnum moss grass is pretty good. So I learned a lot. The giraffe is perfect. He's in the right place. And um, the lights look great behind him. I think for the first time, it's, it's really a nice piece. And I used, um, for the base, I put um, cardboard and I attached it to the bottom with Velcro instead of magnets, much easier. And I painted the, the whole side here with um, Indian ink, black Indian ink. Tiger too, poor thing, he should have been just right up against the mold. So it was just hard to manipulate the weeds and the tiger and make everything sit the way it was supposed to. So these stones, I like these stones I put in here. So I used a blue and um, white and a very light epoxy, epoxy tint. So you could see all the other things in the middle. Just a light yellow, very light. And uh, the green, green and, and uh, I think it was, uh, it wasn't black, it was uh, one of those browns I have, inks, because I wanted the bottom to be pretty dark. So that's my first. Very first, yes, I did put sparkles into the epoxy paint. My very first. There's my little zebra. He's standing up straight, at least. He almost looks like a little wolf in there. So not bad. I'm going to get a turntable for it, and I'm not selling this one because it's far from perfect. But I'm thrilled with it because it was my very, very first one. That's it for today. Have fun. Be creative. Stay healthy. God bless. So here's how it looks. Here's how it looks with the lights off. I'm going to get a little mechanical turntable for it. Doesn't have to be as big as this one. There you go. Learned a lot doing this the first time. Next time will be even better. And I take the back off, which is just a piece of cardboard with Velcro and sticky, t sticky felt. And I take it off, there's access to my battery pack. 
So if they wear out the batteries, I could just change them. Just shut it off. There you go. And for now, that just gets put back on here with the Velcro. There you go. Put back on with the Velcro. There you go. Now next time I also will recess the ink, the last layer, so that the Velcro will sit deeper in and this will be more flush. So that's all the little things I learned for the next time.